Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of Beam Backup and Replication version 12 Tips and Tricks. Today I wanted to talk about tapes, which is the second place you usually store your backups. So how you can add a tape server to your Beam Backup and Replication. So first of all let's go to tape infrastructure and here as you can see you got an option to add a tape server. So we're gonna choose this option. Next, I'm gonna add uh, my Microsoft Windows server that hosts the tapes because I have a, a virtual tape library, VTL. Of course, you can have a physical machine, so uh, uh, of course you would add here the IP address of the machine that actually is working with the tape as a tape library in my case this is the IP address and now I'm gonna add the credentials so as you can see the transport ser service uh, is going to be uh, installed here So now it's collecting the hardware info, registering, the package transport, and so on and so on. And, and as you can see, the server has been added. And now uh, let's do next. So as you can see, it takes a moment, it's detecting previously installed components on the server. Checking the tape server ownership, of course. And there we go. Now we are in the traffic rules, which, which we have here. And here we have the overall review. As you can see, the transport has already been installed, and now the tape proxy will be installed on this particular IP address in order for the tape library to exist in my beam. So the proxy of course communicates between my beam and the backup library. Okay, so the tape server has been created successfully. Now we can check it out how it actually looks. So, as you can see, here is my media pool. And now all of the tapes that are, that are being stored here in the unrecognized folder are being actually sent to the free folders. All of the tapes are being sent here because they are free and they, they can be used. Alright, so this is how you add a tape server to your Beam backup and replication. Here is my 
and here uh, are my all types as you can see you can go here and attract the properties of the type it has uh, 12 terabytes okay so if we go here type server here is my server we can go to the properties of the server and here we here are all the things that have been previously configured and here are my libraries with the drives as you can see and with all the media so all the tapes that are online at the moment so as always like and subscribe and i will see you in the next video